And um, what is up guys, welcome back to the Ace Crypto YouTube channel and welcome back to another market update as we say every single day. So we're looking at the market cap, 99 billion. We are just under the 1 trillion, 99 billion right there. So what does this say to me? This says to me that we are probably going to hit the 1 trillion in the next couple of days. Looking at the charts as well. So if you look at the Bitcoin chart, we can see it's just a lot of up and down choppiness. Um, you know, we need to get used to this guys because we've got another at least two years of this. We literally have at least two years worth of... Uh, up and down sideways motion we still have a lot more to drop to reach a proper bottom uh, i don't expect a bottom now till the, maybe the end of november maybe early december roughly around those marks i thought it was going to be halfway through september but by the judging of the uh, the chart it doesn't look that way it looks like we are keeping up the price ranges uh, very very well to be honest with you so what does this say to me? It says to me, it says the crypto is less volatile than it has been. Every year the crypto has been out, the volatility has been less and less and less, especially in Bitcoin. I do expect this to, the volatility to basically disappear within the next 20 to 25 years, roughly around that mark, and then we'll be roughly in a stock market and a gold situation in terms of price movements. Very small and minor price movements. This is the new stock market, guys. The crypto, the crypto industry is the new stock market. This is where people are putting their money these days and people can actually jump in they can sit in discords they can sit in twitter chats together they can all get involved first handedly which is very interesting kids these days they do not want to buy 25 shares of pharmaceutical companies you know we all know this guys we all know this so jumping in today we've got bitcoin at 20k and ethereum at 1600 dollars so if we move on down there isn't a lot happening really in the market ada 46 dollar 46 cents there xrp 33 cents nothing is really happening uh, Polkadot, 7.5, still nothing happening. So there's not really a lot to be reporting on at the moment. We're pretty much stuck within the price ranges that we are uh, we are at the moment, as we can see there. We are literally stuck between 20 and 19, 20K. We're just stuck between these margins. And this is how the next two years are going to play out, basically. We're going to have a little bit of a drop down to about, you know, 10, 11K, maybe even lower. Uh, from there, we're just going to sideways gradually, you know, gain some momentum over the next couple of years until we hit the Bitcoin halvening. When we hit the Bitcoin halvening over the next one and a half years after the Bitcoin halvening, we will see a definite spike. If I go onto the daily, you'll be able to see that very, very, uh, very accurately. So give me two seconds just to mess with the chart a little bit so we can actually see. Uh, going back a little bit. And these are basically all the bulls and bear markets, you know. Uh, where are we there? Wow, $800. Jeez. Makes you wonder, don't it? $800 Bitcoin. So as you can see, you know, with these bull runs, we went up, we came back down, and we went up for another. Uh, same thing, we came down, we went up, and we came back down for another. This one, we came up, we came down, and we came back up for another. You know, it's, it's commonplace. We can see these like uh these patterns playing out quite strongly and i do suspect that we will see this again i do see this dropping down to roughly around the where are we there uh yeah i do see a roughly dropping down to about this mark there twelve thousand dollars roughly around that mark and then we should be slowly coming back up over the next year and a half maybe two years so get ready or get you know prepared for seeing a lot of sideways movement in the market just see this as a good buying opportunity for the next couple of years guys so let's jump on in with crypto bubbles as we can see we're having a lovely green day polka dots up eight percent where else is the biggest Bryce up 20 percent celsius wow celsius is actually up 29 percent which is quite a lot really in the grand scheme of things uh you got yearn finance there Yearn Finance doing quite well, uh, Hex doing quite well, Atom, we're just having a green day across the board, there's nothing really to report in terms of news, but we are going to jump into them regardless, so jumping onto the first article we have, Helium sinks to new yearly low, so I've heard that Helium might be migrating to the Solana network, very interesting. Uh, Ada adds support, uh, Robinhood adds support for Cardano, I'm sorry but who asked? <laughs> Literally who asked? Nobody, that's who. Marketplace sudo swap, sudo swap, sudo, sudo swap, sudo swap, unveils governance token and a retroactive airdrop. So it's an airdrop. I don't know if it's already happened. Let's have a look. Uh, the sudo swap team said today that the sudo token will be used for governance in the marketplace. 
very interesting so if you do want to try and get in on this make sure you are looking into pseudo so pseudo swap nft marketplace very interesting there might be in for a bit of dollars let's get on revolut slashing crypto trading fees by 20 percent i absolutely love revolut i think revolut is a fantastic company it's like a middle term uh, middle bank if you know what i mean you can use it for storing money you can take uh, money abroad so you can spend money abroad through this so they are basically a bank for all intents and purposes but they have got some regulatory clarity at a few different places around the world which is very good for these guys so i am very bullish on revolut for the long term i think they're gonna not go in anyway so moving on i know we're going a bit quicker but uh the videos tend to be quite slow so we're gonna speed them up a bit with a bit of oomph uh bitcoin and ethereum jump after us jobs report right literally the very next article i have is how unemployment rises so you tell me how these two connected you know, so you really have to take these with a pinch of salt, guys, you know. Uh, reveals that employment stayed solid in August. The very next article, unemployment rises in the US. Like, there is, you know, you really do have to take these for a, a proper grain of salt. Like, what are they talking about? There's a lot of these, you know, coming to follow. Uh, this one here, Bitcoin must break this for any chance of recovery. There will be no Bitcoin recovery for about two to three years, guys. You know, we all know this. Or at least if you don't know this, then you do now. The Bitcoin halvening is priced in. Well, it's not priced in, should I say, but it is expected. We all know the Bitcoin halvening is coming, what, February 2024, roughly around that mark? So, like, you know, it, we are not going to see a top before 2024. It's literally impossible for us to see a top before 2020, 2024. So, I do think 2025 and a half, maybe closer to 2026 is when we will see a really good bull run. We might see a little pump here and there, but these pumps are designed to get you out of crypto, guys. Remember that. If you see a little bit of a pump and you think, right, I'm going to sell and buy the bottom, you could very well do that. But the problem is, is will it ever bottom again? So, we're going to see a slow, steady climb over the next couple of months, uh, you you know after we bottom a slow steady climb up to the happening and then from the happening on we'll see a massive uh, massive adoption increase a uh, massive price breakout so i do think that's very good news there unemployment raises yes it does page not found i guess we're not reading that one out then <laughs> Switch to proof of stake, more secure, says Buterin ahead of the merge. So obviously the uh, the risk of 51% attacks is a lot less on proof of stake. 51% attacks is when half of more than half of the mining pool is owned by uh, a single entity or single organization, that then they can obviously uh, perform the 51% attacks. A lot less likely for this to happen on proof of stake because there's a lot more people being able to actually um, you know use the platform in terms of staking and validating. Uh, so, you know, uh, what is going to be a lot more people able to validate using um, validator pools and nodes and stuff. So the more people, the less likely of a 51% attack. The only issue that I've got with this proof of stake um, merger is going to be majority of the, the nodes or the pools are going to be run through Amazon uh, web services. So a lot of people think in the Amazon is going to be a, basically going to be able to control Ethereum. So, you know, it's, it's a thought, guys, it's a thought. So this is one of the reasons why Brad Garlinghouse of Ripple actually said to Ethereum, uh, well, about Ethereum, that they are basically, Bitcoin and Ethereum are Chinese-owned. Mainly because of the 51%, like I was talking about. The 51% is mainly through the Chinese mining, um, mining centers, you know, mining um, portfolios. Uh, moving on, Bitcoin must break this. So yeah, that's a lie as well. We're not going to see a high for a many, many a year. Digital assets become could become permanent features of the financial uh, Singapore central bankers. I mean, digital assets are the future, guys. They really are the assets. You know, like, the uh, the internet was built, and now we can start building actual monetary value on top of the internet, and actually keeping monetary value on top of the internet. And this is probably one of the biggest adoption curves we've ever seen, and we will ever see in our lifetime, guys. So don't be the guy that says, oh, crypto's a scam, crypto's this. Just make your money, guys. Just make your money and be invested. You know, there's nothing in this world that could make you could make you as much money as cryptocurrency. What it can give in one hand, it can also take in the next. But you do have to do your research and make sure you know what you're doing. It's all. There's no well. It's you know. It's not very good to just jump in and just. Uh, have a punt and see what happens uh, chuck a couple of grand on a coin and see what happens is not the way to do it you have to do your research guys like i always say with my trifecta uh, this is really interesting man scammed by fake bitcoin hitman after curse fails to deter lover's rival so basically he tried to pay a hitman in bitcoin uh, after an online witchcraft failed to end his would-be lover's relationship so he said to have spent $24,000 in Bitcoin to hire a dark web hitman to kill his love interest. Uh, I don't really know what to say on this one, guys. It's very interesting. <laughs> 
Uh, Killing an offering 9,000 hitman. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, he was a fake hitman apparently. Luckily, he wasn't an actual real hitman. What is going on? Page not found again? Wow. Looks like a lot of these being taken off. Why the merge won't solve Ethereum's scaling challenges? I mean, the thing is, there's a lot that needs to be going. That needs to go into Ethereum to solve the scalability. Uh, you know, it doesn't only end with the merge, guys. This is going to be it's going to be an ongoing thing for the next couple of years, including you know zk rollups. You know, there's a lot of different things that needs to be included. Shardens, another thing that needs to be included, and eventually we will get to a proof of uh, proof of stake that is very scalable. But it's going to take a couple of years, guys. It has to be a few more things implemented before we can just shoot on down the center and, uh, you know, treat Ethereum as the be-all, end-all. So, thank you very much for joining me today, guys. Make sure you're following, liking, and subscribing. See that button there? See that big button there? Smash that like button. I much appreciate it. That was a very forceful uh, smash then, guys, wasn't it? I uh, appreciate a follow over on TikTok as well. Links in description there for all my uh, interesting bits and bobs. Uh, yeah, so uh, I will be live over there in about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So if you do want to pop over, I'd really appreciate it. And the last thing we're going to push you guys is the Twitter. So Twitter's fantastic for finding absolutely amazing um, alpha information, essentially. Cold hard truth. Crypto adoption is much further away than you all think. Of course it is. We all know this. Uh, Mason, his, uh, Mason, um, yeah, Crypto Mason doing a giveaway there. Interesting. If you do want to get away on this H-Bar giveaway, um, very, very interesting. This is a really funny one to follow, guys. Coinfessions, if you are into cryptocurrencies. These guys just basically post loads of information about cryptocurrencies. Like, people post their dark, deep, dark crypto secrets anonymously on this Coinfessions. Brilliant, brilliant thing to follow, guys. Uh, so we can just keep on going down and we'll find out more information, uh, basically. Uh, as long as people say crypto is a scam, every bear market crypto adoption is not here. Pretty much, yes. Uh, BitBoy Crypto, you know, a lot of people shit on him, but I think he's an absolutely fantastic driving force behind the crypto industry. So, do with that information what you will. So, thank you very much for following me today, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.